Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another Wellness Wednesday check-in. Anyways, y'all might have breath child, but um, <laughs> new hair, who this? Well, not new hair, but you know, fresh re retweets, who this? I mean, girl, you see that scalp? Anyways, child, so I got my computer here, my MacBook here, so that I do not forget important points. Like last time, I felt like I, felt like I missed a lot of stuff because, I mean, I feel, film all this type style content on my iPhone. Um, so anyways, and I forgot, you know, I'm kind of getting acclimated to this whole MacBook thing. I can kind of see my notes here too, which is clutch. So let's see what we're going to start it. Okay. So I kind of want to recap everything. I think y'all have already seen. I haven't even, I have not edited, edited this vlog yet, but child, so you saw the progress, right? Sis is down a whole nine pounds. Don't play with me. I told you I ain't playing no games with y'all. I ain't playing no games with myself. You know what I'm saying? We doing this for us, not for nobody else, but for us, for real, for real. But for real, also just the accountability, knowing that I have y'all that are rooting for me, supporting me, you know what I'm saying? Want me to lose these pounds too. Don't want y'all lose y'all pounds too. Like we're in this thing together, like I said in the beginning, okay? Nothing has changed with that. So anyways, so y'all seen those clips where I was 233 and that was my weigh-in that I did on October 25th, um, where I weighed 233 pounds. Yes, I was kind of like taking it back myself. I'm like, okay, get your life together. Get your life together, okay? And we're doing that. I'm doing that. So I'm so happy, y'all. That was the, la the last weigh-in I had was this past Friday. I think it was Friday. I gotta look at my phone and see. I think it was Friday, though. Where now I'm down to 224. Almost 223. Almost 10 pounds, but, you know, that's fine. Nine pounds. And y'all saw how I'm so much more, now that I got my cardio back up, y'all, like my cardiovascular endurance has improved a lot. Just from that first go around when I was literally about to die, when I got back into where I need to be, that groove of doing cardio every day. Y'all, cardio for me, I despise cardio, bro, but I can lift weights all day, every day. That's my jam, you know what I'm saying? But you know, cardio is necessary for good heart health and then also shed these pounds, honey, and get this fat off. Like, cardio is necessary evil for me anyways. Um, So yeah, I'm just really, overall, I'm feeling so much more better, y'all, like, I'm feeling a lot more energized like last night, y'all. <laughs> Whereas I'd be sitting up all night like an idiot. I mean, I just sit up be watching Netflix and stuff with my babe, which, you know, I stopped doing that. Thank God I'm back on the sleep schedule now. Y'all, all that plays a huge factor with weight loss. Um, at least for me, it does, you know, speaking for me. So anyways, girl, um, like last night and the time going back didn't make anything no better for me either. But still, um, I was so tired, just worn out, you know, from the day. And this week, I started back training in the mornings, which is, anyways, I started back training in the mornings this week, which has been everything i'm a morning person when it comes to working out anyway it's just i got a little older child my body gotta get woke up your bones gotta get going you know what i'm saying especially doing high intensity cardio um the class i'm doing right now i did this boot camp last year this time it's effect fitness out of atlanta um you they have on demand you can do it online and go along with them and just as if you were there in person that's what i've been doing and it's been really effective it's effective last year i did it around this time um it's just that me y'all after so long i get really bored and i just i'm a gym person a gym rat like i gym is literally life for me it really saved my life um at a certain point in time so anyways um so next week i see myself getting back in the gym but for now i've been kind of working out at home trying to shed this extra pounds you know what i'm saying because i like to be cute those with gym, y'all no for, not for nobody else but for me i like having cute workout outfits it's just me um and i, I don't feel cute because i'm just extra fluffy right now so when i get the rest of these little couple more pounds off it's back in the gym my cute outfit she can maybe take me nothing my two-piece set so so anyways girls I, I talked about that um you know just overall how how my cardiovascular endurance has improved i'm not as out of breath i can go longer like my cardio which is a win okay um the weight of course i just wish it had been 10 pounds it would have made for even better thumbnail but you know i ain't gonna be catfishing nobody or clickbaiting nobody to cook my video you know it was nine pounds what it was it's nine pounds yeah um, so y'all saw me unpacking my groceries earlier. I did, um, order my groceries and I got them picked up on this morning. So I was unpacking those, putting those up. Nothing has changed in my meals. I'm still doing the same meal plan I told y'all I was going to be doing, uh, which works for me now. So as I tell everybody, you got to do what works best for you when it comes to meals, which you know you're going to stick with, all that. Because everybody is different, you know what I'm saying? So do what best works best for you, sis. I'm going to flip my hair over. So anyways, and then, you know, y'all saw me cook my breakfast, where I have a breakfast, and that's what I have every morning. It's basically an egg white sandwich or an egg sandwich, whatever you want to call it, but it works for me. Um, I get my protein in and I get to have carbohydrates at the same time. And you saw the bread I use. It's this brand um, called Dave's. I think it's a Dave's. Dave's. I think it's a brand name for the bread. Anyways, it's not. Bread ain't terrible. 
No carbs, well, some carbs are terrible, but good whole grain carbs, good carbs are not bad carbs. It's just knowing which carbs to consume you should be eating, um, but still eating those and not going overboard with those carbs either. So anyways, I'll have to say, child, the bread I got, it's not like a typical um, white sandwich meat bread. And I think I showed that, I think. But anyways, girl, so that was my breakfast. Um, y'all saw me meal prepping. I told y'all in the last um, video, blog, whatever, that I do not meal prep how... I used to traditionally when I was out in the field, out in the, I say out in the field, and I was out seeing patients. Um, I work from home now for anybody that's new here. Um, so I've been at home for well over a year. Um, so when we transition back in the field, child, it's gonna be a struggle for me. But anyways, I like to say that I don't meal prep how I usually would, how most people probably do on a Sunday before the week starts. Um, being that I'm at home, I can, I can actually fix my meals as I'm eating them, which is great because it's even more fresh for me. But I still do prep my meats at least two days out. Um, and that for me just makes it a lot easier because I'd be going, going, going. Even at home, people think that it's just so easy at home. Working from home is really not. It's double the work. Like, you got to manage your time well. Especially with me doing this and YouTube. You might well say like a full-time thing on YouTube. I give it my all. Um, so I'm dedicated to my channel, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, it makes sense for me to prep my meats and stuff. So that way I don't worry about having to, you know, cook that. My air fryers, y'all saw, do everything. My air fryer is life, Okay love that thing that my microwave do all the work um what i eat is just very simple basic foods y'all um and again it works for me okay so like my carbohydrates my jasmine rice my sweet potatoes my red potatoes um either goes in my the potatoes anyway either goes in my air fryer or goes in my microwave um vice versa um basically my vegetables the same thing um it all goes in my air fryer my asparagus um this week i got different vegetables though i did switch out my vegetable this week and i wanted to get back on cucumbers y'all cucumbers and vinegar if you that type chick that like vinegar like i love salt and vinegar chips this snack comes in clutch okay it's not nothing that's new of course but it's just um cucumbers and vinegar when i tell you my life is <laughs> is given when i eat it it's just everything in my mind y'all for me when it comes to nutrition a lot of it is truly and really mental for me um so stuff like that right just cucum cucumbers and vinegar to me in my mind tastes like salt and vinegar chips works for me again you got to find what works for you what you know you're able to stick to all right so anyways that's some of the vegetables i have and of course broccoli and my other stuff that's in the microwave those steamable ba steamable bags you can put in the microwave that's what my vegetables usually consist of um if it's not asparagus going to my air fryer so like i said my meal prep is very simple um i'm here at home i cook my breakfast every morning um so yeah that's pretty much my meals nothing has changed there your water is so important i know all this these are all things i knew it's just that i fell off you know when doing it, i was doing so much drinking alcohol and wine every night child my life has been like so together i'm just so proud of myself um for just you know really sticking it through and not saying okay i'm gonna start again this time and you know be slowly falling back off but i've been on for real for real um y'all can see by my scale you know what i'm saying i ain't on here playing with y'all you see what the date should i try to get the clip so you can see the actual date because some of you going and just put anything on be showing you a, a weight from years ago or a month ago like you know iphone actually shows the date that you actually did the video or the picture so you can kind of see this this real deal i ain't playing you know what i'm saying so anyways, um, but water is so important, y'all. Like, um, I used to drink a gallon and a half of water. I had to drink it at that time, anyway. A gallon and a half of water. But a gallon is really all you need, for real, for real. So I drink a gallon of water, and I've been very consistent with that. Y'all saw it in one of the clips. I think you saw a water bottle. And I told y'all I got the water bottle from Burlington. I did Burlington Hall, and I got it in that hall. Showed it in that hall. But anyways, one of those motivational water bottles where it has, like, you know, keep going, almost there, refill, that kind of stuff, right? All that's on there. So I love water bottles, y'all. That is the quickest way to get my water down. Especially when it comes to a gallon of water. I have to have, I have, to have a water bottle. Um, not only that, but water flavors are good, too. Like, some people don't like those. And people say, oh, it has sugars in it. Like, yes, it has zero calories, zero, zero calories. It says zero calories, zero sugar, all that kind of stuff. It may have, like, a little bit of sodium. But it's not nothing that's just so detrimental. It really isn't. Like, it ain't that serious for real. Like, it helps me get my water down, um and maybe it does have a little bit of sucrose in it you know hidden sugars and stuff that's not necessarily advertised as sugar but um anyways it works girl okay you can get crystal light whatever you know those little water flavors you can get the powdered ones or the liquid ones i like the liquid ones um better that's just what i use my water at least for the second half of the day that's what i use to get down the rest of the water water is very important so girl if you're not drinking a gallon of water what are you doing I need you to catch up. If you can't do a gallon, and everybody is probably stretched for a lot of folks, that's fine. If a gallon is too much for you, start with at least a liter, okay? Like, at least a liter. Until you can slowly, gradually build it up, you know what I'm saying? Everything in baby steps. We're not trying to just jump in all at once, you know what I'm saying? This is how I do, because I'm used to this style of, like, training, and I hate the word diet. I really hate the word dieting, but I'm just used to that, being all honest. Um, So anyway, it's not a big deal for me. It's just mentally get my, my head space back into the game of, okay, you back on track. You ain't drinking all this wine. You ain't drinking these alcoholic daiquiris every night. We ain't snacking. 
okay? So anyways, water is important, all right? The next thing, is speaking, speaking of snacking, right? I cut out all of my sweets. Um, The stuff that I know I shouldn't have been eating, um, extra excess snacks and all that kind of stuff, cut all that out, right? All of that I cut out, Um, any other little snacks like chips, all that kind of stuff, salt and vinegar chips, I cut that out. So there's things that I did substitute in my diet for this week to treat myself because I did so well. And I did have a, a little bit of it last um week um i don't think i showed y'all those but those are the atkins y'all know i think it's atkins atkins and um what's the other brand name oh my god atkins and um I, i'm having a brain fart right now you know what let me get the bag all right so this is the brand slim fast these little fat bums i don't do nah see this is another topper right here because i get all on tangent talking about this keto some of us love said they're doing keto don't even know what true ketosis is okay that's another subject i ain't even talking about that but anyways these are good as far as those snacks are for me right um i i don't i went crazy about them because it kind of tastes like a little cardboardy ish but again lots of it's mental y'all i'm used to eating stuff that i did literally disgusting but i ate it anyway because i wasn't eating for taste literally for my physique at the time you know competing and stuff so i'm used to eating stuff just to trick my mind um so anyways it ain't the best but it ain't super, super nasty, but it's kind of nasty. But anyway, so what I got this week that's been hitting, hitting so far is these. Oh, uh, wait. This is by Atkins. Yeah. These are the strawberry cheesecake dessert bars. Bruh. Screenshot that. <laughs> Go get it. This right here has been helpful my sweet tooth thus far. Uh, the max on this is not even bad. Max meaning macros, meaning protein, carbs, fats, all that. So the car uh, calories on this per bar is what it looks like. It's 100 130 calories, not bad. Um, sodium is not bad either. Sodium is another, another thing to look out for as well. Sodium on this is not bad. Only 105 um, milligrams of sodium. Carb count is not bad. 15 grams of carbs. Uh, 15. Wait a minute. Yeah, 15 grams of carbs. And then also seven um, grams of protein. So like I said, the max on this is so 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 not bad. And so anyways, this like one a day has really been helping out thus far with my sweet tooth, and I do have it. And I have a sweet tooth, y'all, mostly at night. Is when mine's come on. It's really annoying, but that's when it happens. Another thing I got, and I used to eat these too. Um, as a treat way back when. I forgot how good these were. These are from Slim Fast too. They're little keto fat bombs. These are the snack cup. Now these are better. You know what? This is the same thing, ain't it? Yeah. Well, this is a bar, snack bar. I'm not crazy about this. Like I said, it tastes a little cardboardy-ish to me. It may not be the way for you, but my taste buds taste cardboard. But anyways, these were hitting. I know that um, these are the fat bum, the snack cups, like Reese's peanut butter cups, basically. These right here too help the snoots help with that sweet tooth as well. And the max on this is really good. Uh, calories 90 calories, sodium 15 milligrams of sodium. That's bomb. Seven grams of carb seven grams of carbohydrates. Um, I forgot to mention the protein. Two grams of protein on the sugar. Um, one gram of sugar. Now it does have this other name. It it throw. <laughs> Basically, the other brand of sugar that's in it for real. But it still, it's, it's low. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the other brand. Other type of sugar that's in it, basically. And then, I mentioned the protein. Yeah, these ain't that good for real. So, I would go with these. These. And these. If you just have to have sweet stuff, these it. Alright, y'all. I'm back. I had to move. Switch the locations up. You know, give y'all a little different angles you know what i'm saying so that meal i just showed y'all them snacks i mean like they literally like life this is the water bottle not in my kitchen this is the water bottle uh, that i was talking about just a couple seconds ago so yeah i gotta finish my water now i have this much left can you kind of see so yeah i gotta hit it because i need to be done at least by 10 o'clock so i'm gonna be peeing one night you know uh so anyways cut out the sweets you know what i'm saying replace those with things and then also too now for me, I can't do too much fruit because fruit for me, I don't know, fruit don't hit me for real. Don't hit for me for real. Like I like bananas and stuff, but like uh, grapes, brand like a lot of grapes. So I have grapes in the fridge, but I'm not a grapes person, not for real. For real. So bananas to me and peanut butter, woo, another level. Um, that's a really good snack for me too, post-workout. I love that post-workout. The next thing I did, y'all, was cutting out all the wine, okay? I know y'all saw when I make my breakfast that I be killing wine. Like, we love wine. Um, I love wine. So, I don't do none of that during the week. Anyways, I cut out wine. Wine and daiquiris, I love my um, Jamaican Me Happy, the Seagrams, the, the little daiquiris from Seagrams, I love those. Um, I cut those out, cut the wine out, like I said. So that's been a big help as well. I knew it would be, of course. Um, so I don't do it on the weekend. That to me is like a weekend treat, my wine. Uh, I look forward to that the most on Saturdays in my alcohol on Saturdays. But I don't do it during the weekday. So that's been a big thing as well. So cut that liquor out, cut that wine out, be drinking it, okay? Because them excess calories, we don't need to be taking in. I'd rather eat those calories than drink them at this point. Anyways, the next thing is, uh, I said, yeah, having a drink or two on the weekends. And as well as the biggest thing too, y'all, 
it's balanced now, balancing this thing. Don't do this and don't be treating yourself at all, right? So on the weekends, and these are things I did, y'all, when I was in my show preps and stuff, I would have a cheat day. And I hate to wear a cheat day. So I say more so treat that I'm treating myself to this extra um, deluxe <laughs> cheeseburger or pizza or whatever, right? So I do that only on weekends. Weekends, yes, Saturday and Sunday. At first I said, all right, to do it on Saturday because you'll go, oh boy, surprise myself. I know how to control myself. I do. I've learned that over the years. Um, so whereas I used to do it just on Saturdays, I'm kind of like, well, I'm not training for the show, so I can still have it. You know what I'm saying? It's all in moderation. So yes, I have a cheat meal on Saturdays and on Sundays. And I drink on Saturdays and on Sundays. You know what I'm saying? It's called balance, all right? And I get back on track right after that on Monday with my water, with my meal prep, my egg wipe, my breakfast, you know what I'm saying? Everything I just roll back. You know what I'm saying? So I right to say that if you fall off, say for example, you know you ate something that you shouldn't eat, you drunk from during the week, you shouldn't drunk, it's fine. So that one meal, that one drink is not going to literally deter all your progress you've done thus far. All you got to do is simply hop back on track. It's literally just that simple. Like, trust me, it's that simple. The next thing is working out consistently. Um, whether that's three, whether that's three days a week for you or for me, I go four days a week at this point. It used to be six days, child, but like I said, he joins time to rest because I'm getting older, okay? Um, it's not so I can't go six days a week. It's just, you know balance okay for now we, we taking baby steps so i've gone four days thus far i have a rest i do monday tuesday rest on wednesday and thursday friday weekend pick back up on monday that's just what works for me final works for you you know what i'm saying really all it's recommended is at least three days out of the week three days of at least 30 minutes of exercise whether you walk in sis like just do some type of physical activity where you're getting up you're moving you're getting the blood flowing you're working out, okay? So for me, I despise cardio, y'all. Like, I just like to lift weights all day, every day. <laughs> but I don't like cardio, you know? Um, but cardio, like I said, is necessary evil. And I know for me to get this fat off, to burn fat, on top of my nutrition being first and foremost, cardio is an added accessory tool for that. It helps to even further stimulate the fat loss. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's necessary that I do my cardio at least 30 minutes a day. I've been doing 40 minutes, but, you know, baby steps, okay? Um, what else? The next thing is getting in bed okay like i said to y'all just a couple seconds ago all that sitting up to 12 1 o'clock in the morning yes you're going to work night child you're getting in bed at one o'clock in the morning them days are done try being in bed at least by 11 no later than 11 30 so i can get adequate sleep now i've always been big on my sleep y'all like <laughs> minimum eight hours i gotta have them i'm gonna be a complete you know what the next morning so me and sleep is essential i have to have that i know with me going to bed at one in the morning all that, it's just i just woke up feeling more groggy you know what i'm saying i just had so much more so much more energy going to bed on time Waking up, just setting a schedule, okay? Whatever that schedule looks like for you, if you work nice, I don't know how that works for you, you know what I'm saying? But just figuring out, figuring out a schedule that you can work to and stick to is everything. And so for me, like I said, being in the bed about 11, no later than 11.30, at least up. I set my alarm at 7.45, sometimes 7 o'clock. Sometimes I don't make it at 7 o'clock. Sometimes 7.45, sometimes 8 o'clock. <laughs> Point is I get up, okay? And I have my full eight hours of rest, which is everything for me. So sleep has been a huge factor. Um, another thing, now this may be a little, you know, TMI, but it is what it is. Okay, we talk about weight loss. First of all, it's a very sensitive topic anyway. So if you hear, you hear is what it's gonna be, all right? So um, regular bowel movements are very important. And that's one thing that I used to always struggle with, especially when I was on such high protein diets, I would get constipated a lot. Even though I drank a gallon of water a day, I would still get seriously constipated, you know what I'm saying? So. For me, let me show you this. <laughs> I got some stuff to show y'all. I need to tell you, but I don't want to show it to you so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Hold on. <sighs> All right, child. This fiber, everything. Walmart brand, Equate, fiber powder. For me, I put this in my coffee every morning. And coffee gets you to move it anyways. If you want to take that tea stuff, all that stuff people be buying, all you, do, just, all you gotta do is get you some fiber girl and put in your drinks. Get that stuff moving. So anyways, basically having regular bowel movements is very important. Crucial important um, for weight loss because if you got this excess, excess waste inside of you, you're going to weigh yourself and you haven't been frequent with your bowel movements and you wonder why, Oh, I thought I should be down. I thought I should be down one pound, two pounds by now, but I'm not. It's because you probably got excess waste that ain't out of you yet. You know, you ain't been regular with your bowel movement. So for me, I know that to be a fact. That's true for me. So I have to make sure I'm being regular at least daily. So that's why I take this fiber supplement every day, um, in my coffee or my water, whatever, just to make sure I have it in so I can go. <laughs> so, um, all right. So that's pretty much it as far as like all the things that help to assist with this weight loss. Um, so just a recap, gallon of water a day, cutting sweets and snacks, cutting wine, alcohol, period, working out consistently at least three days a week, 30 minutes of exercise, five, going to bed earlier. 
Stop setting your tail up late at night, going to bed. Getting up early, creating a schedule for yourself when it comes to going to bed and waking up. Six, regular bowel movements. Going to the bathroom like you need to be going to the bathroom. It's a big thing. So those six things help to aid in this nine pound weight loss. Girl, look at my face though, bro. Don't play with me, look at my face. <laughs> I mean, it's the cheekbones for me. Like it's just, I can look at myself too and tell y'all I'm dropping. And I knew that I can look at myself, my pants, my measurements. Oh, another thing, I told y'all, I'm trying to make this long. Try, try not to make it long. Another thing that's very important is measurements, right? So I do, I of course have measurements as well. I'm down to my measurements. Um, so I can look at my waist and stuff. I can look at it and tell when stuff is coming in, hips, all that, shoulders. Well, I got a broad shoulder because, you know, I hit them shoulder hard. I like big shoulders. But anyway, again, this is what I like look, look like for myself. You know, it's how I train. So I like broad shoulders because that's just the aesthetic, the look I go for. But anyways, um, so yeah, as far as ongoing goes, but the next two weeks till we check in again, I don't see myself changing anything because everything is working. I knew it would work. You know, it's just a matter of me putting in the work for it to work. <laughs> Did you catch that? Put in the work for it to work. The losing pounds, you gotta work. Nobody else can do it but you, girl. Let's continue killing it. Let's knock out another nine pounds or more by the time we check in again. <laughs> Let's not jinx it, but I hope you can. <laughs> so I can. Anyways, y'all, so yeah, I don't see myself, I'm looking at my notes to make, make sure I don't miss anything. I don't see myself changing anything for the next check-in. Um, if anything, maybe increase my cardio a little harder. You know, when it comes to intensity, I, when I should say that, when it comes to my intensity, increasing my cardio intensity so that you put in more, you're going to get out more, which is what it is. So anyway, that's not the only thing I see myself changing going forward. Um, everything else is working. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. So what I want y'all to do is to comment down below. Remember we said we're sitting together, all right? Especially y'all that come in, I'm in. Continue to comment down below on these check-ins too. Let us know, you know what I'm saying? Let me know, because again, we're staying together. Just let me know, have you made progress um, since the last upload, the last two weeks that we've, you know, made the initial video. I wanna know, have you made progress? Are you down some pounds, girl? You down some inches? It ain't just about pounds, cause it can also be inches. Um, your pictures tell the difference, your clothes, how they fit, how you feel, honey. All that equates to successful weight loss for me. Um, so anyways, come in with a little girl, I wanna know, I wanna root for you. We root for each other, you know what I'm saying? If you have not made progress, we wanna know that as well. What can we do to help motivate you, to help encourage you to get it back on track? You know what I'm saying? We pull a thing in, we can do this thing together. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, go to my Instagram, y'all. All right, I'm way more active than you can see me on the regular as opposed to here every two weeks, you know what I'm saying? I can't do community posts yet to check in with y'all, let y'all see certain stuff, you know what I'm saying? So go to my Instagram, that's where you will see me at, all right? Not my one I have linked here though. That's my other one that I use just to post my Instagram, my YouTube stuff and promo kind of stuff. Anyways, child, my personal Instagram I have on the screen is legs and locks because <laughs> you see the locks <laughs> and don't play with me. <laughs> you see the leg. They're a little fluffy right now, but you know what I'm saying. Let me show you a little shot. <laughs> Pose for the girl. Don't play with me. Anyway, so legs and locks for a reason, baby. But go follow me there, child. You'll see me on the regular there. That way, you know what I'm saying, we can have more engagement. You know what I'm saying? I can kind of keep track of you more there. Keep track of each other there um because i'm on all time posting you know what i'm saying that's why i start my instagram like i said for was fitness reasons so all my little you know fitness posts my little gym selfies they all there you know what i'm saying follow me there um i can be it i talk too much i tried to make this short i really did it is what it is you need to see this you need to hear this okay this is to help somebody that's the goal to help somebody it ain't just about me ain't about me anyways girl do not forget to like the video before you head out just spread to my viewers once you like it also girlfriend subscribe if you like to see it only okay i post super consistently on youtube super consistently on wednesdays at 12 o'clock nope wednesdays at five o'clock saturdays at 12 o'clock and it's p.m central standard time y'all be saying the same so i get tall and tired but you're gonna see the real this vlog i ain't cutting on this out so anyway, subscribe, okay? I post real consistent for real, for real. Um, We do these uh, Wellness Wednesday episodes every two weeks. Very consistent, you know what I'm saying? We check in, we give you the up and up, give you the tea, what's going on, you know what I'm saying? How we losing, if we gaining. We know that too, so we can get back on track. We hold each other accountable here, okay? Real community, I'm trying to grow that on here. Anyways, girl, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Now we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.